As they have done for 21 years, thousands of motorcyclists roared into the nation's capital. It's called Rolling Thunder, and it honors troops held captive or missing in action. And it's a magnificent sight. Rolling Thunder leaders met with President Bush at the White House and even gave him a leather vest to mark the occasion. You gonna take a ride on a hog, Mr. President? I don't think so. <laughs> Among the riders and those who turned out to support them, many military veterans, men and women who are closely watching this year's presidential campaign. Some have bristled at this statement by Democrat Barack Obama. And what we should be doing is reaching out aggressively to our allies, but also talking to our enemies. I agree, you can't negotiate with terrorists. You couldn't trust what they told you anyway. President Bush seemed to take a swipe at Obama's statement earlier this month. As Nazi tanks, tanks crossed into Poland in 1939, an American senator declared, Lord, if I could only have talked to Hitler, all this might have been avoided. For others, there's no harm in talking. I think you got to keep the lines of communication open or you don't get anywhere. There's nothing wrong with negotiating. I mean, I'm not saying go over there and give the farm away, but it depends on what he wants to talk about. Anything for peace. You know, if they could talk, sit down and talk, yeah, I know they realize they're our enemies, but things could be changed around. What won't change is these riders' commitment to those who haven't made it home. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.